Which AWS tool allows you to interact with AWS services within programming languages? So here we have four choices, and the first three are definitely AWS tools, and the fourth one, AWS Config, is a service. So AWS Config is straight away not the answer. Um, so let's focus on the three that are AWS tools and try to understand the difference between the three of them. Let's talk about the first one, which is AWS SDK. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. So an SDK is a collection of programming libraries that you can uh, use within your uh, programming scripts to interact with said software. The software in this case is um, AWS services. So here we have a Node.js JavaScript script, which uh, requires the SDK. And then, inter and then through coding here, it's working with um, the CloudWatch service to do something. So are we using a programming language here in the SDK? We definitely are. So the answer is definitely AWS SDK. But let's um, learn about the other two here just to cement our knowledge between all the different AWS tools. So um, AWS console is anytime we're talking about um, anything in here in the web browser. So when you log into the console, um, and you're able to click through and interact with any of these um, AWS resources or services in here. It's all done through the web browser. So just think AWS console. A AWS CLI is um, when you install a little program on your computer and it allows you through either, if you're on Mac, it's terminal. If you're on Windows, it's PowerShell to enter in these commands in order to um, interact with AWS. I can even show you here. So here I'm in terminal on Mac and I'm gonna type in AWS um, S3 LS and that's gonna list out all my buckets. So, I mean, those are the three tools. You definitely need to know the difference between them and uh, make sure you know what these um, acronyms stand for because sometimes knowing them helps you figure out the answer. Sometimes it's always in the name. Um, but yeah, the answer in this case is when we're working with programming languages to interact with AWS, it's going to be AWS SDK.